the Refugee Center. Um, we had our vaccination day to, uh, today in in, Gen in February, February 4th, and it's the first one of the year. We have been doing in the past, in the last year, four vaccinations uh, rounds where we were helping people with our status that if they need to have a, a booster or to have their first shot or the second shot and also we were providing services a uh, vaccination to children this is one of our efforts where we try to do a uh, to offer to people who doesn't feel comfortable to go to the big clinics and also because there is a challenge of their documentation that as well is an effort that the fcj refugee center is doing to try to uh, stop the uh, spread of COVID-19. It's a time that we can start doing something else in a way that we can bring the, our life back, but also it's a time that to keep welcoming people uh, that they are not from Canada, refugee claimants, and also uh, people without status, and we can give them some protection and safe place. Thank you. We have Welcome to the vaccination clinic at the FCJ Refugee Center. We are so happy to provide the first vaccination clinic of 2022. <laughs> Remember that if you are a person who doesn't have insurance and you're living here in Toronto, you can approach us in order to book an appointment to have a, uh, an appointment with a family doctor. That's one of the services that FCK Refugee Center is providing right now. And um, uh, the Pamica Clinic offers family doctor services. And we are happy to welcome all you guys uh, on this vaccination clinic. This vaccination clinic is in coordination with Women's College Hospital. Uh, we are so grateful to have all the team from Women's College Hospital here. And this is going to be the seventh vaccination clinic in partnership with them. So we're so happy to continue helping people in Toronto. Oh, I'm very happy. <laughs> Finally, I could get it. Yeah, so it's it's very really good. <laughs> this is something that is basic not only for our health, but also to protect people we love. It's just essential. Yeah.